welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about why I decided to switch to a plant-based diet. Now, the reason I want to discuss this is because in the video where I made the announcement, I stated that it was for health reasons. And while that is still true today, it is not the only reason I made the switch and I wanted to discuss the other reasons with you guys just to give you more of an insight, a more in-depth look into my decisions and my beliefs and my passions and why I feel so strongly about it. That being said, I am not here to judge. I realize that a lot of vegans feel the need to push and they're judgmental and I understand it because it is something that you become extremely passionate about but I also understand that I spent the first 25 almost 26 years of my life as an omnivore and the more you know the more you grow so as I have continued through my journey I have learned more that have kind of helped me to place my feet firm in my beliefs but I don't expect everybody to know that if they haven't taken the time to learn about the agriculture industry or research the benefits. I am not going to be the person here today that is going to judge you and preach at you and I realize that I will probably get some hate for that, but I want you to know that I am coming from a good place and I'm just wanting you guys to understand my choice a little bit more. So let's just jump right into it. When I first made the announcement that I was going vegan, I said that it was for health reasons. And again, that is still true today. But to give you a little bit of an insight into my health, as a child, I believe I was about seven years old when I asked my mother if I could become a vegetarian. At the time, I knew nothing about veganism. I didn't know about you know, all I knew was that as a child, I did not enjoy eating meat. I didn't like the taste. I didn't like the fattiness. I did not like the way it made me feel. So that was a decision I was making purely on that. To give you a little bit further an insight, I've never been a person that has drank milk. And if I did have it in cereal or anything like that, it did affect my body in a very negative way. As I grew up, I did start to love eggs at the time. I loved eggs, but the thing about eggs is they would make me go from looking like a normal, healthy young woman to being a six month pregnant woman. I really looked like I was six months pregnant and that was just proof right there, the way I felt and the way I looked, that it was not good for my body. In terms of milk, in terms of cow's milk, dairy, I have never ever been a fan of that and it's always just been kind of a logical decision for me. It never made sense to me that we would feed our babies the milk that comes from a cow that produces this milk for their offspring that is 65 to 75 pounds at birth. It also never made sense to me that humans are the only species of animal that would wean off of our own milk but continue to drink the milk of another animal. The second reason I decided to make the switch that I, I've always kind of put two and two together but I never really started thinking deeply about it and I would honestly say that I turned a blind eye to it until I made the switch is the exploitation of animals. I think where this point really hit home for me was when I watched a YouTube video a long time ago and I, the story was of this young woman that went on a mission trip to a different country outside of the United States and in the village she stayed at, you are required in order to be like a citizen or a member of that village, you are required to raise your own chicken from the time it was a baby to full grown and then you are responsible to kill that chicken and help cook it to eat. And I knew that I would never be able to do that. Like I could never form this bond, this relationship with an animal only to turn around and kill it and eat it. I love animals. I have such a deep passion for animals and for many, many years of my life I wanted to be a vet. So why then would I want to kill and eat something that I feel so passionate about? It also became clear to me that I would never voluntarily walk out my front door, kill a rabbit and eat it, or walk out my front door, kill a hog, cook it up and eat it. So essentially, I was asking somebody else, some other person, to go and raise this animal for me, kill this animal, and then process it to put it on my plate. 
And it just seemed kind of like a hypocritical thing. Like why would I ask somebody else to do that when I would not do that myself? And then the third reason is one in which I probably thought the least about, but the more I've learned, the more strongly I feel about it and the more I understand it, the more I don't want to contribute to it. And that is environmental issues within the agriculture industry. The agriculture industry is responsible for things like deforestation, habitat loss, extinction of animals, overuse of resources. Everything that it does from the things that it takes to process things, the things that it takes to raise it, the runoff that occurs, all of these things are hugely detrimental to our environment. And these are things that are aiding in pollution, which kills millions of people every single year. And not only our country, but countries all over the world. At the end of the day, I really believe that the more you know, the better you grow. I could not go back to that lifestyle knowing what I know now. What I would say to other people that are kind of learning about it and maybe turning a blind eye to it is I don't expect you to today say I am going vegan because I don't believe in this, 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 and this. I really encourage you to do your research, to read and to watch, read books, read articles, watch documentaries. And also, I don't believe that every documentary is 100% factual. I think that it is a form of media, and media is meant to encourage and to persuade. And so you kind of have to watch these things and think logically about it. What do you feel this documentary is saying that makes sense to you, that could be true, and what do you think is maybe over sensualized? At that point, as you are watching these things and reading these things, you can decide for yourself what you feel strongly about. And maybe that will result in you just giving up meat. And maybe the next thing you read or watch will help you to get rid of cheese. It's small steps. I think for me at the end of the day, it just comes down to when I got pregnant and when I had my children, it immediately became clear to me that I wanted to live a life that was beneficial for them and impactful for their future. And I refuse to contribute to an industry that is ruining the environment that they live in, that is wrecking their bodies, that is not helping them to have the best future possible. So that's really it. If I had to share three main reasons why I decided to make the switch, although I'll be honest with you, there are tons more, it would be for the health benefits, the exploitation of animals, and the environmental issues. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until the next one, I will see you later. Bye.